Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 8th of March 1910, French pilot Raymond de la Roche became the first woman to be awarded a pilot's licence. Elise Raymond de Roche was the daughter of a Parisian plumber. After becoming an actress, she adopted the stage name Raymond de la Roche. Having been introduced to aviator Charles Voisin in 1909, she convinced him to teach her how to fly. Although initially reluctant, Voisin invited her to his airfield at Chalon. It was there, on the 22nd of October 1909, that De La Roche flew for the first time. The aircraft she trained in had been designed for stunt displays and could only seat one person, so the instructor was obliged to run alongside the aircraft. Having mastered taxiing, De La Roche later took off, flying around 300 yards, that's 270 metres, before touching down again. There are conflicting accounts of this flight, with aviation journalist Harry Harper claiming in 1953 that it took place after very little training, whereas contemporary reports suggest that De La Roche had already had a number of lessons before she went airborne. De La Roche was awarded her pilot's licence five months later, on the 8th of March 1910. Issued by the Aero Club of France, her licence was the first to be awarded to a woman and led to her being invited to take part in numerous international aeronautical meetings and displays where she flew as part of Wassan's team. At the Egyptian Grand Prix later that year, she came sixth, a position that she improved on when she flew again in St. Petersburg. De La Roche was never a member of the nobility, However, in an October 1909 report, the contemporary British aviation magazine Flight captioned a photograph of her as Baroness de la Roche. She was even addressed as Baroness in an audience with the Russian Tsar Nicholas II after her flight in St. Petersburg. <laughs>